What is up my epic Fortnite gamers? Today, I have some bad news. Over the past few weeks, I have uh, taken one of the most beloved classic video games of all time, and I turned it into a battle royale. What I have done here is a true sin. Something so utterly horrible, so vile, that I can only hope Miyamoto Senpai Sakasama will take pity on my poor blackened soul and forgive this transgression of mine. I'm also a little worried that Nintendo might yeet me, but what's life without a little copyright infringement after all? So without further ado, may I present Mario Royale. Unlike most YouTube videos, this isn't some joke or clickbait. This is the real thing. A fully featured recreation of the original NES classic, written from the ground up in HTML5 and using a Java server backend. I unironically spent three weeks on this, and I have no regrets. Unless I get sued. Then I'd have one regret. Getting sued. The game is super easy to pick up and play, with most rounds only lasting a few minutes. Or a few seconds if you play like me. It runs on all modern web browsers, no, not that one, and it even has controller support, which is kind of, uh, where like 90% of the professionally published games in my Steam library still don't work with my PS4 controller. But my game, that runs in a web browser, does work. Hmm. That's a, that's a pretty big think right there. Okay, so enough with the technical specifications. I know most of you don't care what the hell a WebSocket or HTML5 context is, so let's get right down to the game. How does it play? Well, my friend, it's basically identical to the original game, but with an extra 98 morons running around stealing all your power-ups. The core design of Mario Royale is that players don't really interact directly with each other, but instead interact with each other through the game world itself. The simplest way to put this is, Watch out for Koopa Shells. This system creates a lot of really interesting interactions throughout the game, from something as simple as breaking a block someone is standing on, all the way up to the perfect long-range Koopa Shell snipe. This also makes every power-up a valuable resource, as only one player is going to get that mushroom right at the start. Oh, and of course, there's also the star, which is rather unique in Mario Royale, as it makes you actually tangible in other players' games. Meaning that if you have a star, and you run into someone, it will kill them. So be careful, my dudes. It's a dangerous world one out there. So how do you win in Mario Royale? Well, you defeat Bowser, of course. Each round of Mario Royale has you play a randomly chosen world from the original Super Mario Bros. Currently, worlds 1, 2, and 3 are all finished and in the map rotation. And the first player to reach Bowser's castle and grab the axe wins. Second and third place are also awarded a victory royale as well, but anyone after that is unfortunately doomed to the lava pit. This means that Mario Royale is both about survival and speed. Taking a few seconds to grab an extra life or a fire flower can be incredibly helpful, but it also might make the difference between an epic gamer moment and a heated gamer moment. There are a few bridges in this game after all, so be careful out there, Felix. So if you want to give this abomination a try, head on over to infernoplus.com. There's no account creation or anything annoying like that. You just pick a name and jump straight into the game. My only request is that you try and be better at the game than I am, because wow, oof. Building and testing this game has been a super interesting experience, and I'm really anxious and excited to see how people like it. This will actually be my first game I've ever really published as a standalone title, as everything I've done before has always been mods or goofy hacks of some kind. This is actually my own code base that I built from the ground up for this project. And I'm super interested to hear what you guys think about it. So thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. And let's just hope that no one else ever does this again, because this is cursed, so cursed. 